Cleanliness, they say, is next to godliness. As part of improving environmental cleanliness across Sapple and its environs, the Honorable Member representing Sapple at the State House of Assembly, Honorable Chief Perkins Umukoro, the Chief Whip of Delta State House of Assembly, has inaugurated the Sheriff and Perkins Umukoro Foundation in the local government area. The Honorable Member, while performing the official inauguration, said Sapple was known as the most cleanest local government in the past, which has over the years deteriorated and he decided to extend his foundation beyond social services to cleanliness to collaborate with the local government and state in sweeping off the roads to make it clean and part of his electionary campaign promises to the people of his constituency. Apart from sweeping the roads, his foundation has also engaged in welfare programs in assisting petty traders and other areas like educational programs by donating writing and other school equipment, adding that it is part of Right Honorable Sheriff Oborowori, the executive governor of Delta State Mall Agenda, whom is laudable projects across the state, speaks volume. If you go into history, in 1976, Sapley won the cleanest town award, yes, in Africa. And since then, the environmental state of the town has been deteriorating. So I now felt it that I should extend my foundation to other social services like cleanliness, which we're all aware that is next to godliness. So last week, I met with my team and we agreed that we should also participate in the sweeping of roads. We should partner with the local government and the state in the sweeping of road, in making our roads and the environment very clean. So it was on that background that I have to bring these persons together. There are people from Sapley local government that they said that yes, they want to join in the cleanliness of the town. That was what informed me. So that Sapley can go back to that glory of being the cleanest town in Africa. And we have been participating in social services and welfare programs. Apart from this very program, I have also indulged in assisting petty traders with money through the foundation. We have been assisting petty traders. I have a record of how I went to the supply market to assist them in the last uh, uh, December Christmas celebration. I went to the market as a market boy to join the supply people and also assist them in the celebration of Christmas. And with the hardship facing us, I have been also been assisting petty people, that the petty traders and our common people on how to survive in this hard time. So this foundation has been involved, not only that, even educational activities. We are also thinking of printing writing materials to the schools. By the grace of God, by September, this same foundation will come MS to assist the schools with writing materials. In this program, it's not necessarily sweeping the roads alone. We still want to embark on a proper information dissemination of information by telling these people not to indiscriminately dumping refuse along the road. We will move from compound to compound. In fact, we, our hand bees will be ready by this week where we are going to distribute hand bees to the residents and advise them not to dump refuse along the roads. So these are areas, apart from the fact that we are going to be sweeping the roads, we will also engage on such dissemination of information, enlightening the public on proper disposal of refuse. Thank you. And we are going to work in collaboration with the best people in Sapley, those collecting refuse and disposing them. We are still going to work in collaboration with them for effective cleanliness of the town. The more agenda talks seriously on the issue of cleanliness and we are keying in to the state governor's program on the more agenda in order to, to keep our environment very clean. Some residents of Sapley who spoke to Rero TV commended the lawmaker for his initiative as the exercise will go a long way to give Sapley a new facelift. Anthony Isoji, I'm from Water. As I see the exercise, I'm all right with, with the exercise. I'm very happy to see that the elaborate people Women, we, we will clean the Sapley Road. I am Honorable Kingsley Sajeri. And first, it's a welcome thing, a welcome development. 
because before now I could remember the time of Desopadek during uh, Udwan's administration. There were women that were engaged in that in that aspect. But this present dispensation, I am glad we are seeing a new face due to the fact that this body was inaugurated today. I quite appreciate the initiator of the program and uh, I pray that it should be a continuous thing to keep the town clean. Like we all know, cleanliness is next to godliness. My name is Veronica Obu. So I'm the head of this sweeping, this work. So I'm going to help the, help the women where the way the work will go smooth. And we are going to work this work with their hearts and their strength. So, so uh, what do you have to say to Perkins? Okay, I have something to say to Perkins because I want to thank him because of his kindness. Because of his kindness, because of the empowerment when he giving to the women. Because it's not uh, easy for them to give women this such opportunity. So I want to pray for and let God give us strength and power to parallel the work. My name is Akbarero Henry Akbos and this is Rero TV. Thank you for watching.